Hi everyone, my name is Martin Linksfeld and I am Master Chef in FoggyKitchen.com. Few weeks back I have recorded my first video about OCI Resource Manager. It has shown Resource Manager capability for drift detection. Today I would like to show you brand new feature of Resource Manager, integration with GitLab service, public solution for version control of the code. Hope it will be useful in your everyday life with OCI deployments. Let's roll! Ok, now I am in my cloud console, so let me go directly to Resource Manager. And as you can see on the left, we under Resource Manager, we have three uh, many, um, options in a mini. So we have stocks, we have jobs, and configuration of the source providers. Stocks are a bunch of OCI resources defined by Terraform code, right? In case of the job, it's an action which will be executed on Terraform code from the particular stack, and it could be a plan, apply, destroy, and import state operation. And finally, configuration of the source providers is just an integration with source control system. Okay, so let me go to the stack first. I'm clicking create on the stack and what I can see here in the wizard is four options to choose, right? So first one is my configuration and here I can just upload the zip file with my Terraform code, right? Another option is to click on sample solution and in this case I can choose and I can browse solutions available for me ready to be used immediately, right? And I can build uh, the, the particular configuration automatically by just choosing this uh, stack which is available from here, right? Okay, next uh, what I have. Uh, I have existing compartment which means I can do resource discovery in a particular compartment and recreate the stock from this, so recreate a code, some sort of reverse engineering, right? And ultimately we have a source code control system, right? So currently I have nothing here, which means I have no integration to be utilized. So I need to click next. I click cancel and I need to go directly to configuration source provider section. Okay, and I will create an integration here with GitLab, right? Okay, GitLab integration with RM. Okay, um, here I will provide a URL and I need to provide the personal token, right? So I need to go to my GitLab account, right? I need to go directly to my set settings of my profile. I need to go to access token and generate the personal access token. Uh, in case of the scopes, I need to choose everything. And I need to create personal token. And this personal token I will copy and I will return back to my resource manager. So now I can create an integration. The integration has been done, right? So let's return back to stacks. So I can click on stock, I can click on source code, right? I can pick up the existing already created integration GitLab. I can choose the proper uh, repository, right? And I need to choose the branch. I need to wait for a sec because I expect some directory will pop up here. Um, yeah, so as you can see I can choose working directory and now I will call this uh, stack just Lesson, lesson one, single web server stack. I will create it in a resource manager compartment. I will choose Terraform version 0.12. I'm clicking next. 
and I need to provide some values. Some of them are optional and some of them are obligatory. I have created private key and public key for my machines. So, and these values will uh, be used to populate the variables inside the Terraform code, right? Okay, let me click next. This is a review, some sort of a summary, and I can create a stock, right? Looks like the stock is ready. And next thing which we can do is to run Terraform plan, right? So let me click on Terraform plan. Okay, so clicking plan and the job has started, right? The job has been submitted, accepted for execution, and uh, we need to wait for a sec to receive some, um, you know, output. Um, the state of the job is in progress. And uh, look at this one. Meanwhile, some git pull has happened, right? So this uh, commit has been used to execute the job, right? So let me check uh, this particular commit in a repo. So this is what the code I'm working on. And the current commit is line 2e. Okay, 9 to E. Okay, makes sense. And right now, let me check it out. Right? Looks like uh, we have a problem, right? What is the problem? Uh, problem with the images. So we need to verify the reason of this problem, right? After a while, I have discovered the reason of the problem. I hope so. So, as you can see in my stack configuration, I have provided optional variable, uh, value for a variable OS image, which seems to be a little bit outdated. So, I have taken the latest one from here, from documentation, and I believe uh, this time it will work. So, let me save the changes and rerun the plan with the hope it will work uh, as it should, right? So let's wait for the job and uh, outcome of the job. Sometimes it takes more more time but we need to be patient and we'll see the outcome the outcome it's similar to terraform output why because this is just a terraform right terraform nested in oci right so looks like the plan is pretty ready and uh we can uh, try to run Terraform apply, right? So let's return to stacks. Uh, the job is still in progress, so let's wait for a sec for this job to be finished. Um, yeah, succeed. As I have seen here, we will have a lot of resources. And let me return back to stack again and let me rerun Terraform apply job. The job will be automatically approved. And uh, yeah. Let me pause for a moment and uh, I will return after Terraform apply success. Looks like Terraform apply has finished with success. So now we have the machine, which is available to this IP, public IP address. Uh, let me check if we have all of the components resources. So yeah, let me check the instance. 
in a proper compartment. here I guess okay so this is our machine let me check we yeah so machine is here I expect network will be as well okay so let me do some trick I will return to resource manager to our stack in a resource manager compartment and uh, I have changed something here I mean, in my first lesson, I have changed. Uh, as you can see, this is a comment, right? I have changed the shape from one to two. So, I mean, we will have yet another additional CPU. And uh, let's see if it will have a reflection in a yet another Terraform plan, right? So, let me run Terraform plan for a moment and see if uh, our resource manager will download the latest comment with this small change. I expect to have a plan to change the CPU, to change the shape in place. But we need to wait for Terraform plan to be finished. Okay, looks like the plan has been done, and what do we have here, right? Let me scroll it, and uh, as you can see, here we have a machine, right? Oracle uh, Core Instance, which will be updated in place, and according to the plan, we will change the shape from 2E to uh, e2.1 to e2.2, right? So, it looks like we this comet has been pulled from the lab repo, right? So, let me verify that. Let's let's compare that. Comet ID and this comet, yeah, the same, right? So, yeah, I believe, um, not this one, sorry, this uh, the comet. So, um, right now we can run stocks, right? Uh, we can run Terraform Apply. And uh, expect that shape will be changed. Let me pause here for a moment and wait for Terraform Apply to finish. It has taken a few minutes to finish, but uh, but ultimately uh, the shape has been changed and let me verify that by going to the compute instances and going to particular machine and it looks like we have new shape right e.2 e2.2 right so let's return back to resource manager and destroy um, destroy the stack right so I'm running destroy and now the whole infrastructure will just disappear and I will pause for a moment looks like destroy operation has been finished 10 destroyed resources which means now we have no compute I guess and let me verify that by going to the proper um, compartment terminated in case of network mm, no item to be found right which means everything has been destroyed right and but stock is still there and we can use it in the future right if we want to uh, create it from create it again right and of course we can delete this stock and the whole integration right with GitLab and that is mostly all for today and hope it was in, um, interesting for you and see you soon